everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today we're going to do a lesson on the 10 boards and beads. Now, this will look very familiar to the teen boards, which if you're not familiar with my channel, we've already done those lessons. So the 10 boards lesson comes after the teen boards. And the teen boards we broke up into three different lessons, but this lesson on the 10 boards, it's going to move very quickly. We're going to do this all in one lesson, but it's going to be in two parts. The first part is working with the tens. And then the second part of the lesson is introducing the units with the tens. Now, as I've stated in the teen board lessons, the proper presentation of these boards is for this board to be on top and for this board to go on the bottom. So it's one big vertical line. However, for filming purposes, I can't do that. I can't make everything fit. So today we are gonna work with the boards just like this in parallel, but they are supposed to be stacked on top of each other. So the first part of this lesson is just reminding our student what they've worked with last. And we should remind them what this is, ask them. And you can ask them to count it. You can ask them to count how many units are in this and they'll say 10. And then we're gonna to point to our 10 right here. This says 10. So this is 10 and this says 10. But what happens if we do this? How many do we have? When we start this lesson, we're gonna say two tens and remind them that two tens is called 20. Some teachers will introduce this in the formation of large numbers in the group two math, but if you haven't done that, this is a good place to do that. So we'll say this says 20, this is 20. Now let's move to the next one. One ten, two tens, three tens. This is three tens, and when we have three tens, we say 30. So this says 30, and this is 30. So we're gonna move our beads down to the next one, and we're gonna say one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. When we have four tens, we say 40. So this right here, this number says 40, this is 40. And then we'll bring them down again to 50 and add another one. So for each part, we're just bringing the beads down to each one, adding a new 10 bar and giving them the language. And we're gonna do this all the way until we get to 90. And once you get to 90, you can reset, put your bars back over here and you can play a game. You can say, can you build 30? Order and say, okay, now build 70 or build 20. So you can play these association games to make sure they understand the symbol and the quantity together. When we're done introducing the symbol and the quantity and introducing the language in this part of the lesson, we're gonna put the beads back and then we're gonna look at our board again. And we're gonna start from 10 and we're gonna say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we're gonna count by tens all the way up. And then we're gonna start at 90 and count backwards. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And that is the first part of this lesson. Now let's move on to the units. When it comes to the second part of this lesson, we're gonna be working with both the units and the 10 bars. There's going to be some exchanging in this or the idea of exchanging in this. So for those of you who are wondering why I don't have the exchanging game in my presentations, it's because in my AMI album, I actually don't have that lesson. Now, other people do. I know other AMI teachers who do have the exchanging game in their album, but my training center didn't include it. And that's probably because when you start to see what it looks like to work with the tens and the units together, we are doing exchanging. This is very much getting to nine and then exchanging. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So when we start out, we're actually gonna start out with the 10 and we're gonna work through our teens first before we start going into our tens. So we know that this is 10, so we can put our 10 here. That's already familiar. Now let's show them what 11 looks like. We know from working with the teen boards that this says 11. If we add a unit, that makes 11. So this says 11, this is 11. But let's move to 12. So 
So this says 12. And if we add that unit, that is 12. So this says 12 and this is 12. And if you need to, to start out with, they can count every single time. They can count to 10, 11, 12. And you're gonna keep going through every single number until you hit 19. So when you get through all of your teens and you get to 19, you have your 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This says 19. This is 19. And this is where we can stop and ask them, you know what, when we get to 19, something happens. What is it? And if they can't remember what happens next or they haven't been introduced to exchanging, this is where we can let them know we need to exchange. If we have nine and we add another unit, that's gonna make a 10, right? That's gonna make another 10. So we don't need to use another unit bead. We can just add our 10 bars. And so we can put all of our units back because once we get to 10, we can exchange it for a 10 bar and we're going to bring it down to the next one. So go ahead and take your number nine out of the last spot and put it back to the side because we're going to start from scratch now on 20. So this says 20. This is 20. We have two tens here and that makes 20. If I add a one right here, I need one unit. So one ten, two tens is 20, and this makes 21. This says 21, this is 21. And once again, we're gonna keep going. So this says 22, add a unit, this is 22. And so you're going to keep going all the way down. As soon as you get to nine with the units, you're going to exchange it for a 10 bar and bring it down to the next slot. Your unit beads go back in the cup. And then you're going to start again with 30 until you get to 39. And you're going to ask what happens when we get to nine. We have to exchange. So hopefully you can see as we're working our way through this board that it's just like the exchange game. It's a little bit different context, right? And we're adding the symbols in, but it's the same thing as the exchange game. This might be a little bit tedious, right? Constantly bringing these down, adding extra units, going through every single card for each slot can be a little exhausting. And I'm gonna be honest, most of my students do not want to do this in one sitting. And so you might be more successful if you limit how much they do during a day or maybe you just wanna make random numbers, right? Like maybe instead of doing the whole board all the way through, you just put random numbers on the board and just ask them to build a few of them, right? Maybe not even the whole board. Just say, you know, can you build 43 for me and see if they can build 43. And so you can do things like this where you limit how much they're using the board. If they don't like going through one number at a time until they get to 99 because that's a lot of work then that's okay break it up have them work with a friend do some random numbers where they're just building numbers in isolation because when they get to the bead chains they're going to be counting through that as well and they are working on the decimal system while they're doing this so they're still using the golden beads to do addition subtraction multiplication and division and that will be both static and dynamic there so they're going to get exchanging they're going to get tens they're going to get counting to 100, all within all the different materials that honestly a lot of the students in my classroom like better than the 10 boards. So if your student can't get through the second board, he can finish it a different day. So maybe the first day you do this board and the second day you do this board. It's okay to break up this work and it's okay for them to work with a friend as long as they're working quietly and purposefully. There is no control of error for this lesson. This is mainly just to introduce them to the language, get them used to exchanging, get them used to the numbers 10 through 99. And we know that they're gonna get it. This is just more experience and more materials to manipulate along the way. With that being said, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.